time now for another instant classic. It's times like these we miss Katie. She gives us wonderful introductions to these, but I'll, I'll pick up the slack here and I'll talk to you today about a poem from William Carlos Williams, Williams, William Carlos Williams from 1923 entitled The Red Wheelbarrow. And now I gotta tell you, this is a reflective Duke, Dr. Duke moment. When I was a sophomore in college, a little Catholic college in Ohio, Northern in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, St. Edwards High School in Lakewood, Ohio, I had a great English professor for my sophomore year, Brother Joe. Uh, Brother Joe was a really stickler. People were just afraid of him. He's about four foot ten inches tall, but he really worked us hard. He had us reading all sorts of books. I read about 150 books that, some, that year alone in his class outside of the coursework we were doing. That included things like grammar and sentence structure. But he really taught me how to write and, and to read well. But he once put this poem in front of us as a class. It's a short poem from Carlos, uh, from Carlos Williams, which reads as follows. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. Being a sophomore and somewhat callow, I, among other people, raised my hand and says, well, what, Brother Joe, what is so important? Brother, what is so important about the red wheelbarrow glazed with rain beside the white chickens? He just smiled, never told us. And that was the first I learned about the enigmatic, right? the idea that not everything has to have an answer. I still don't know. I mean, I'm an English professor. I teach, liter I teach complicated poetry all the time. I understand, I can appreciate the poem for its syntax and its playing with norms of capitalization. It's not a unpleasant little poem to read, but I'm not sure anybody still knows what so much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. If there's any biographical help, we do know we have uh, this, this note from Williams himself about the poem. And uh, w William Carlos Williams wrote, quote, the red wheelbarrow sprang from my affection for an old Negro named Marshall. He had been a fisherman, caught porgies off Gluster. He used to tell me how he had to work in the cold freezing weather, standing ankle deep in cracked ice, packing down the fish. He said he didn't feel the cold. He never felt cold in his life until just recently. I liked the man and his son Milton almost as much. In his backyard, I saw the red wheelbarrow surrounded by the white chickens. I suppose my affection for the old man somehow got into my writing. Now, there's no way Brother Joe could have known it and no way I could have known it, but that's your instant classic for today. Ponder it. Why does so much depend upon that red wheelbarrow?